Hello everybody and welcome back to Fab Motorbikes. Today I'll be reviewing the Givi V46 Monokey top box. So to start with, this top box has a 46 litre capacity and apparently it can take up to 10 kilograms of weight but I have piled so much more weight in it than that. I've actually put dumbbells, 40 kilogram dumbbells in there. So yeah, it's, they're pretty sturdy and it's pretty strong. You'll be fine. As you can see, I have the matte black version. They do come in any colour you want in gloss but that does mean paying a little bit extra stick with the matte black you can also get a few additional items such as a back pad on there for pillions and also a metal rack so you can strap further items on that you can't fit in the top box and also apparently you can get lighting systems that link up to the back so that when your brakes are activated the brake lights will come on somewhere on your top box i can't imagine it's in here because there's no space for lights also i have read that you can get an internal light so that you have lighting in here when it's dark and you want to get stuff out of your top box. All a bit unnecessary if you ask me, but there you go. Also included inside this top box is a document holder, which is what this red thing is. You take these screws out here and undo a tab up there and you can put your insurance documents and anything like there and apparently it's secure. Now I have never used this. I don't like the idea of leaving any documents of any kind in my top box where you can just put them in your pocket. Um, well, that's there if you want it. It also comes with these uh, bungees that are used to hold all your luggage down. Uh, they're great, um, but they have failed and the elasticity is completely gone. But I've now had this top box for 12 years and for one of the only major faults now that has gone wrong is the elasticity has gone, that's literally fine with me. Um, and they're easily replaceable, so I could do that any old time. So this box is a monokey system opposed to a monolock system. Why did they name them so similarly? I can barely tell the difference if I'm honest. From what I can gather, here we go. The monokey system, which this is, is double skin, so it's a bit stronger and will only fit to a monokey plate that is on a Givi rack that has been designed specifically for this bike. Whereas monokey, you can get racks that can fit on existing racks that are pre-built onto the bike. Yeah, I don't really get it either. But anyway, <laughs> there'll be a link up here to someone from Givy explaining the difference. So why did I get a Givy top box? Well, many, many years ago, I was going on a tour with my brother as pillion on the back and we're on a bike that couldn't take panniers. Um, so that was the answer to getting our luggage safely packed away. Also, back in the day when I was commuting in and out of London in heavy traffic, um, having a top box is great because it's high, it keeps the bike slim and it's secure. You can keep things in there without any worry. However, when it comes to touring, I think I would always recommend panniers over a top box. Uh, it just keeps the weight so much lower and there's two of them so you can get more on there. Having all that weight hanging over the back, any bike becomes a wheelie machine and I find it's easy to lean over with a heavy top box but cranking the bike back up to upright becomes an issue. Um, but I always keep all three tubs on there because having the extra top box to keep, you put your helmet in or a few extra bits and bobs is always really useful. Now let me talk you through opening the locking system of this bike. It's very easy. Put the key in, turn it to horizontal, hit the upper red button, it unhooks, pull that back and it opens. And then when doing the opposite, simply pull down the lid, pull it closed, push that section up ensure the top is hooked on here and push back down and then turn the key vertically to lock when it comes to clipping the top box to the bike very simple don't need to do anything with the locks really just line up the tabs and clip Done. Also remove the key. Now let's get into pros and cons of this thing. One of the cons is that it's always been a little bit wobbly. The fit isn't quite snug enough for, uh, for it to be 100% wobble free. It's easily fixable. I could pack it out with some micro or something. I've had this top box on four bikes now and this has always been the case. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Another small error is the keys or the red plastic holder on the key 
tends to fall apart and then you're no longer able to add it to your key ring. So this is why I've had my own key cut and I can add that to a key ring very easily. Minor issue, just look out for it. They're just made of plastic, those the bits that mount to the keyring, so that's what happens. A final thing, that's not really a con, but maybe you should just look out for this, is if you leave the box on your bike quite a lot, and uh, you're riding with it, and lots of gunk just gets chucked up into this mechanism, it does have the tendency to get stuck, so just stay on top of that. In fact, I've just pushed this in just now, and it won't release, so it will no longer clip. So I'll have to yank that out, put some oil in there, and maybe in there just to get that clip releasing so it will secure to the bike again. Not really a con, but something you kind of have to stay, up on, stay on top of now and again. Now let's talk about the pros. What do I love about this thing? Well, 46 liters is plenty. You can get two um, open face helmets in there or one full face. And I, I think if you do a bigger box, but 46 liters is, is great. I have also had this thing for 12 years now and it has taken an absolute beating. Look, there's a big panel missing, but it keeps going strong. Yes, it is beaten to hell, but it's still waterproof, still holds all my stuff safely. It's completely fine. Another thing that is great about these Givy top boxes, it's impossible to lock this key in the box. Cheap of top boxes, that's possible, and I may have done that before. So the reason for that is, look, you put the key in, you turn it horizontal to open it, open it up there you go lovely when the box is open and unlocked i cannot take the key out so there's no chance of me taking the key out plonking it in there and locking it in there fantastic really thought about it givy nice one so that's it that's my review of the givy v46 top box i've had it for 12 years and i honestly think i'm gonna have it for the next 12 years too thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you've not done so already Many thanks, see you next time.